Hey folks, it's Bobo the Vulture, and it's time to let's play Boxcar 2D. The game in which you don't actually do anything other than set the maximum number of wheels and the frequency, mutation rate, that sort of thing. The game sort of figures itself out. It is a genetic algorithm car evolution using box 2D physics. Basically, the computer tries to figure out on its own how to make a car. And you can see here in the first generation, some of the designs don't even have wheels. Actually, that's a really good design. I say, and then it falls apart. Alright, shows what I know about car design, folks. I should be car designer. Oh, this one actually is pretty good. Look at it moving all around. Hey, it made it through the course. Nicely done, car. Yeah, this one has some potential, too. Although it's strange that it's got a whole cluster of wheels at the front. Aha! Another variation on that design I thought would do well and didn't. But yeah. Okay. Oh, that's another one that looks like it could do well. Wow, this time around, usually it will have a whole bunch of wheel designs and things that uh, it'll try car designs that have zero wheels. This time it seems like it's uh, it's fairly serious. It's Yeah, look at this. Yeah, some of these are, these are, a lot of these are really good designs out of the gate. Which probably means that for the second generation, basically the second generation, um, the course will become more difficult. Oh wow, now this is just a giant mass of wheels. Which actually means it ought to do very well. Not like that. But yes, a game in which I have to do essentially nothing, clearly this means that this is actually a subscriber special. And sure enough, this is uh, my own wanting to do something that uh, took as, as little personal uh, concentration from me as possible so that I could remember to thank everyone for subscribing to, uh, to me because I recently, I recently passed the 100 subscriber mark. In fact, it seems like only a month ago really, that I passed the 50 subscriber mark. And probably because it was about a month ago I passed the 50 subscriber mark, so... Ooh, I see. They lifted the nose up. That was good thinking. Yep, but uh, maybe they made it too high because now it flipped. But, um... Yeah, so, I mean, you know, forgive me if, uh... If my uh, if my growth in subscribers continues at that same exponential rate, considering I got my first subscriber not long after starting, um, not quite a year ago, I think it was uh, last uh, late spring or early summer sometime. So it took me the better part of a year to get 50 subscribers, and then to get another 50 subscribers. Oh, that one almost got to the goal. Poor little car. Poor little car. Whoa. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, uh, took me the better part of a year to get 50 subscribers, and then to get another 50 subscribers to reach 100, it took about a month. So, uh, cool. Success. Um, and, you know, again, I, ooh, that's a good car design right there. As long as it doesn't flip over and land on, like, that little tip on the top, it should be just fine. That I suppose it could reach a hill that it can't quite climb. The larger wheels, it seems like, spin a little bit slower, or they don't get enough torque going in them, or whatever. But, um, yeah, no, this is basically, I just want to thank everybody who subscribed. Um, and of course, especially thank people who, uh, have, uh, who comment. You know, join the part of the community. All those folks that I mentioned in the, uh, you know, 50 subscriber special, like, uh, Grimathar and Mysterious JG and uh, WC3 SN FSS World Warcraft 3 screen name FSS who is uh, I guess uh, also occasionally known as Pancakes Guy um, you know really uh, you know pretty much everybody that leaves things I mean you know everybody that I mentioned in the uh, in the 50 subscriber special, I got a few more people that have started, to, you know, like leaving comments more recently. Uh, Screaming Doom, um, welcome, Screaming Doom. Hi, I'm waving right now with my hand, but you can't see it because you're looking at a full screen capture of Boxcar 2D. Um, and uh, oh yeah, and somebody has been going back and uh, looking at the 
looking at the Castle of the Winds videos from the very get-go all over again. I think his name is David B. 1001. Hope I got that right. Um, but yeah, and you know, everybody who subscribes, everybody who watches, um, there I hate you, I think left a comment on my uh, main page here the other day. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, you know, I'm mainly doing this as just sort of a hello and a thank you. Um, although, you know, I know some folks, like uh, Mysterious JG, he recently had his 100th subscriber special, and he used it as a call for um, requests, what he could Let's Play next. Um, and I'll certainly listen to requests, but of course I have a lot of um, stuff that uh, <laughs> I haven't, you know, like, I'm, I'm it, right, right now my two main projects being um, the Let's Play of Steambot Chronicles, which I'm, you know, it's gratifying to get good feedback on that because that's a, a let's play that I've really been wanting to do. One of the one of the ones that I've been wanting to do from the start, but I didn't have a copy of the game. I'd lost my copy of the game, and you know, conspiracy theories abound about what actually happened to the friggin' disc. I had the box and the manual and everything else, so I feel like it must have ended up in the PS2 system of somebody that I went to go visit. But, uh, you know, those people say that they don't have it. So, mm, I don't know. Always a mystery. But, uh, so now I have two boxes, and two manuals, and one disc. But one disc is all I need. So, thank you, Mr. SJG. That was a great Christmas present. Um, but, uh, yeah, doing that, which, of course, is, uh, you know, it's a kind of big project, um, and, uh, you know, the Let's Play Together that I'm in the process of doing right now, also with the Mysterious JG, as it turns out, um, the Dynasty Warriors 5 um, Let's Play. Uh, by this point, um, most of Liu Bei's Muso mode should be up by now. I figure we'll do the, um, the Muso modes of the three, like, major storyline, I'm doing finger quotations, but the, like, main the main dudes, at least the way that Dynasty Warriors plays it out, um, for each of the Wu Wei and Shu, um, you know, which would be Liu Wei, um, and Cao Cao, and for, for Wu, they use Sun Jian, who, um, if I'm thinking about it, if, if I'm remembering it correctly, he's you know, or, or I've been told about it correctly, he's pretty much dead for most of the actual, like, Three Kingdoms period. He was sort of the patriarch of the family, and uh, then, I guess, Soon Quan took over. No, not Soon Quan. Did I say Soon Quan? I meant Soon John is the guy that you're playing as, and then Soon Quan took over. If I said that the wrong way around, I apologize already. Um, and, you know, like, I still got Arabis Supersonic going on, um, but, of course, I deliberately slowed down the output of that to, uh, you know, get feedback as things go along, because, of course, I have a very limited amount of money, so, uh... But, um, actually, part of the difficulty I'm having right now is that the two big projects that I was working on, um, Steambot Chronicles and uh, Dynasty Warriors 5, they both require recording off of my console, and the program that I use to record off of my console is... It's a, I mean, it's a very, it, it works very easily, um, syncing up sound with the commentary track and everything is all very easy to do, um, but it saves the, it saves the movie files in a format that makes them, like, one and a half to two gigs a piece, so it's sort of like testing the limits of the YouTube upload you know, like, and whenever I try and use advanced upload, it seems to only sort of kind of work sometimes and sometimes not. But, um, and, you know, I would see whether or not there was, like, some way that I could make the file smaller, but there's, uh, actually no help or assistance for the program that I'm using, um, because the recording software that I have, um, is from like 2003, 2004, something like that. The company that made it has actually since been bought by Corel, and Corel doesn't uh, provide support for the soft for versions of the software that old anymore. So, um, like right now, it works wonderfully. But um, if anything goes wrong with it, I'm basically out of luck. Um, but yes, part of the problem is just like. 
I, I, I honestly, like, if I can only upload, like, one, maybe two of those videos a day, just the amount of, like, time, the amount of, like, time it takes to just upload them, I can't upload a whole lot of other stuff. Um, so some of it's that. Um, the other parts of it, of course, are, you know, those Let's Plays are, you know, really not very close to being done either of them I mean so I will again I'll take you know suggestions that people might have um, but uh, I probably won't get to starting another brand new let's play for a while now um, you know because I'll always, I, I imagine that once I complete scenario three it's just a matter of what I want to do for scenario four um, in uh, Erebus supersonic but um, and, you know, like, while I'm thinking about it, I go ahead and rattle off some of the uh, ideas that I've either been given or have already had. You know, there's always the temptation to do a Let's Play of a game that, uh, you know, you just plain old enjoy playing, but is one that, you know, if you look around online, it's been done to death. Like, um, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, I think that is... I mean, it was one of the last, like, all-out, you know huge six, like attempts for a home console 2D game. I mean, you know, you're starting to see some more come back with, uh, you know, uh, PlayStation Store and Xbox Live Arcade and those sorts of things. But that was the last time that, you know, like it was a big software release thing from Konami. So it was like 2D game. Um, you know, there wasn't, there wasn't all like polygons or, you know, dazzling 3D arrays or crap like that, and, you know, it, it was one of the last of the genre, sort of, and really one of the best, I thought. It was just done very, very well. Um, I mean, there are some items that you can get that kind of break the game, but, uh, you know, you can either use them and just continue to sort of, I mean, it's fun even to just sort of, like, stomp through the game after you've gotten the, like, you know, the chrysagrum, or whatever you call that one weapon that sort of basically means that any time you press the button, you, like, dash whoever is in front of you to bits, like, a million times with your sword. It's still fun to, like, just sort of dash through the game and just sort of slice everything to ribbons. It's a good time. Um, yeah, you know, something like that. That's a fun game. Um, I would say Dragon Age or, Fall or Fallout 3, but does the world really need another Let's Play of either of those games? I mean, I love them both to pieces, um, Fallout 3 especially, um, but, uh, honestly, like, I have not played either of those in a good long while, partially because I'm just doing Let's Plays now, and, uh, the time that I use to play video games most of the time, like, ah, I'm wasting time if I'm not recording it and doing, you know, Let's Play videos for the viewing public, haha, <laughs> um, because that's how I talk to myself, um, ho -ho, I like to laugh at myself that way. Um, no, but I mean, it's it's true. I have, like, I've gotten some, like, brand new PS3 games for Christmas that I haven't even taken the shrink wrap off of. Because, uh, you know, I'm like, now nah, I'm, I'm enjoying Steambot Chronicles. Woo! Um, you know, which is not a bad thing. I mean, I am enjoying Steambot Chronicles. And, uh, seems like some of you folks are, too, which I'm appreciative of. But, uh, you know. So there's games like that. I've kind of been meaning to do an LP of uh, Tenchi Stealth Assassins. Um, there are probably a good number of, of that game out, too, but not, hopefully, as many as some of the other games that I've mentioned. But I just, I love Tenchu Stealth Assassins. It's like playing a bad kung fu game with all the, like, you know, uh, corny dialogue and all the rest of that sort of thing. Um, and, I mean, on top of that, it's just a good game. And you have Ninja Rope. And every game needs, like, ninja rope swinging and zipping around sort of uh, fun times. And the poison, uh, the wonderful poison rice balls, I love those things. Um, so yeah, there's, there's that, there's Tenshu. The, um, and, yeah, there's, there's at least one other game that I was thinking myself that I, I will dare not even speak its name because... One of the reasons that I think it would be a fun one to LP is because basically I've, you know, like, I was poking around, like, you know, I noticed that Grimmeth was a moderator for the Voltron Army Forum, so I went on to, like, I just poked around looking at the Voltron Army Forum at one point, um, 
I mean, I don't usually do a whole lot of, like, forum crawling stuff, but, you know, I figured I'd check it out. And somebody had posted some, like, oh, you know, I wonder what type of LPs I should do. And, like, the general consensus he kept getting back was, you know, you should do any type of game that you enjoy. Any type of game that you enjoy, if your commentary is good on it, because, you know, it'll reflect, you know, because you're having a good time, that will reflect in your commentary. I think a good Let's Player could make any kind of game interesting, except this. And then, you know, they would always list, like, one type that, uh, apparently people just hate. But, you know, I would think it might be interesting to try and do a Let's Play of one of those. But, we'll see. Um, again, shh, secret. Uh, among the things that have been suggested to me, um, are, I'm pretty sure that, uh, FSS, uh, aka Pancakes Guy, Oh, I was thinking that one would do really well, since it was, like, completely covered in wheels. Um, FSS mentioned, I think, both to Mysterious JG and myself at differing points, because we both did LPs of Bionic Commando. Just, I did the, um, you know, what was it, like, 1987, 88 version, whatever year that was. And, uh, I think JG did the 2008 or 2009 version. Um... Um, but I think it's I think it's called Umihara Kawase, but I don't really know. Um, clearly, it's not a a a, a game that was ever uh, translated to uh, to English. But it's it's a game about uh, I mean I've played it before and it seems like it's kind of fun. Um, it's a game about a girl with a uh, like a little fishing rod, and, you know, it's sort of like, you know, swinging around sort of physics and stuff, like she hooks onto, she can hook onto the walls, or, you know, ledges or things with her fishing line, and like swing across gaps, or, you know, like, retract the cord up and climb up, or whatever, all those sorts of, you know, fun grappling arm game physics sort of things. Um... The only thing I'd be kind of low level of playing that is I'm always a little bit concerned about playing games that aren't in English. And while, you know, the game is really straightforward, or my, I mean, there's barely any reason that you would need to, you know, be able to speak another language, I always, I don't know, for some reason I always get slightly concerned when there's information being put up on the screen that was originally designed for the player to be able to interpret, and I can't even if it's completely unnecessary stuff like the word score or something like that. I don't know. Um, for all I know, there's a message up there on the screen that says, Bobo! Bobo the Vulture! When we programmed this game 15 years ago, or 20 years ago, however long ago Super Nintendo games were made, we knew that you would start doing a let's play of this, and we've put up a message here that says you are an idiot. Bah! Ha 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 we were laughing at you, Boba. For all I know, that's what it says up there. It doesn't actually say, like, score or lives or anything like that. It's a, it's a, it's a complicated message that says that I'm an idiot. Ha 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 ha. We are laughing at you, Boba. Um, so yeah, that's a possibility. Umarakawase. I keep saying that, and it's, it's probably going to turn out, I, I just hope that that doesn't turn out, it's like, oh, that was actually, like, that's not the title of the game at all. I'm just thinking of some other random Japanese thing, like a manga series or something like that, that also has, you know, a name that just was sticking in my head instead of that, because I honestly don't know what that means. Um, so there's that. Um, I've also gotten some, you know, people that have said that they wouldn't mind seeing me do an LP of uh, Uncharted Waters New Horizons, which I actually do like the idea of doing. Um, I have started many games of that, many playthroughs of that, uh, attempted to go through it many times, never actually finished one, um, in large part because uh, playing that game in the past, I have, and this is going to be a shock to all of you, I think, but as it turns out, there is a single combat duel, like fencing uh, portion to that game, and I have no idea how it works, and I lose every time. I know this is going to be shocking to be what? Bobo lose a duel? No! Um, but, uh, yeah, it's true. And, 
basically in many of the story modes, uh, most of them, I guess, at some point in time you're going to be required to duel with someone. Um, I'm pretty sure that you have the ability to in all of them, like, you know, like you're basically the game is you're, you know, you have a ship and you sail around the world during like the Age of Discovery and, um, you know, like if you encounter a pirate ship, I'm sure that like, you know, the pirates will try and board you and you might be able to like fence with them in order to hold them off instead of like getting into a, you know, gun battle with them or something like that. Wow, this terrain has gotten really difficult. That was a pretty good car and it just didn't... Okay, this is not a really good car. It's not going to get very far. I predict. Watch it defy the odds. Okay, it did not defy my odds. Thank you for not defying my odds, car. Oh, this guy looks kind of boss. See whether or not he does well. But, um, yeah, Uncharted Waters, New Horizons is another one that, uh, you know, sort of uh, in the back of my head there, spinning. Um, it is a Koei game. Um, good Koei game. Um, less war strategy, though. More, uh, just sort of exploring around. More, actually, economy game, because that's one where, you know, you can travel from one part of the world and pick up, you know, exotic spices and then go to another part of the world and pick up, uh, you know, d fine silks and uh, another part of the world and go and find gold and, you know, stuff like that and go around and trade for various things. Um, and it's a fun time. That's a, that's a good game. I would, I would consider giving that a shot, alright? Um, but, uh... And I had at least one other person, I think at some point in time, and I don't even remember who, but I feel like somebody mentioned Dwarf Fortress to me once. I would be a little bit concerned about doing Dwarf Fortress from the way that I've heard it described to me. Um, I'm not that great at Iron Man games because uh, I have a tendency to lose. <laughs> um, you know, like I'll make a mistake or something, and uh, you know, things all just go horribly awry. Um, you know, like, uh, I guess it's... Uh, it's from the good people that also brought you Liberal Crime Squad. Liberal Crime Liberal Crime Squad. I can't say Liberal Crime Squad for some reason. I always go Liberal Crime Squad. But uh, that game, Liberal Crime Squad. Um, if you've not played it, you know, go ahead and give it a shot. Um, unless you think you would be just terribly offended by the um, basic graphics. Uh, it, I mean, it's a lot of fun. I've tried it. Um, Despite what <laughs> um, I've heard Griffith at least say, um, but despite what some people say about it being terribly easy, I've had a difficult time at it. Actually, I seem to never be able to. Oh, got yeah, he got he got top or uh, what do you call that? Uh, yeah, he got stuck in the same place. Oh, here's the thing that's all wheels that I keep thinking should do well, and then it just ends up being too slow and getting stuck in a crevasse somewhere. But. Um, yeah, I actually had difficulty playing Liberal Crime Squad. It seemed like no matter what I did, I couldn't get my main character to be somebody who was good enough in hand-to-hand -hand combat that he wouldn't, like, get himself killed the first time he tried to fight someone. So, like, you know, in the most recent time that I sat down and sort of tried playing that game, I pretty much, all I was able to do to gain a rep and to gain any money was just to, like, break into apartment buildings and steal crap. Um, which is not really, like... I don't really see how that exactly advances, you know, the liberal cause to, like, go out and commit petty crimes. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's not for me to say. Anyhow, um, but yeah, I mean, if other people have other suggestions, uh, you know, clearly, um, I'm having a good time doing this stuff right now, so I'm not necessarily going to stop any time, like, right away. Um, so, you know, if you've got other suggestions, by all means, throw them out. Um, who knows, maybe I'll get to everything that people suggest to me. Um, I mean, you know, of course, I'm, 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 I'm not throwing this out here saying, ah, uh, you know, vote today, and, uh, whoever, whatever gets the most votes will, uh, will be the next thing that I let's play, but, uh, you know, give me some suggestions, uh, and, you know, I'll, I'll give them all their weight. I have veto power, though, certainly. Um, I can't do first person, well, first person shooters are tricky. Some of them will give me a terrible headache, and some of them I'm fine with. Um, Heavy Gear 2, which is a game that I really love, probably my favorite first person shooter sort of style game, probably because it's one of the few that I can play without getting a terrible headache. 
But yeah, it doesn't really give me a headache, and I don't know if it's just because you're supposed to be inside a giant mech, and therefore, like, your movements are a little bit slower, or, or what, but, um, yeah, I like that one. But yeah, a lot of them, and I mean, even some of the ones where it's like the sort of, like, third person, and you're just behind them, and the camera sort of, like, always is in the same place and follows you or some. Some of those I can deal with, and some of them I can't. Some of them did just give me a headache, I'm not really sure why. And sometimes when we touch, the honesty is too much. I have to hold my hand, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, some of those would be fun, of course. Uh, but, I guess there's not much else to say. Of other than, of course, you know, I have, I have sh it's much as, as was the case in the 50 subscriber special, I've had at least one, had at least, um, Pancakes guy, uh, mentioned specifically to me, like, hey, for your 100 subscriber special, you're gonna go back and actually finish Evil Zone? Hmm? But, uh, no, and I'm not immune to those, uh, to those, t to those chides and barbs. I do want to go back and finish Evil Zone. I want to go back and finish, uh, Castle of the Winds. Um, especially since, um, I've gotten people, like, you know, that are actually going back and starting to watch Castle of the Winds. It's not one of the sets of videos that I have that has, like, huge numbers of hits or anything like that, but, uh, you know, people will see, like, a fairly simply graphic rogue type and then see that there's, like, <sighs> geez, at this point, there's got to be, like, you know, over a hundred videos of, uh, of it, of varying lengths, 10 to 15 minutes, whatever they are, um, yeah, people would be a little bit daunted by that, but, uh, no, it's good fun. Anyhow, I guess there's not much else to say other than that, yes, I plan to go back and uh, finish, plan to go back and finish Evil Zone, plan to go back and finish, um, plan to go back and finish Castle of the Winds, plan to go back and, um, I still have a letter that was written to, uh, you know, the Legend of Bobo, um, seeking advice that I haven't actually replied to yet, and it's been months now, I hope the poor, uh, Oh, the poor person that is trying to deal with uh, having an astronaut for a roommate is managing. I really do need to uh, craft an appropriate response to that. Um, anyhow, yeah, uh, this is this is Bob the Vulture. This is Boxcar 2D, the 100 subscriber special of sorts. Um, and uh, thanks again, everyone, for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. And uh, Let's keep having fun. Let's keep playing games. Let's keep having a good time. Na na na, gonna have good time. <laughs> uh, that's a good note to stop on, isn't it? <laughs> Everybody, it's fun. Let's please. All right, maybe maybe the best note to have ended on would have been several notes before that. Oh uh, well. Good night, everybody. <laughs>